What's up, Arkham family? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm joined by Penny. Every time I, like, put her inside of the camera, she does not know where to look. She's like, what's going on? I'm gonna enjoy this moment while I can, because usually she's not like this. Any moment now, she's probably gonna bite me. But anyways, you saw that? She grilled. I put her down because I was not trying to lose any fingers today. She's like sweet 80% of the time. She's very territorial when it comes to her toys. Like if you touch her toys, she tries to attack you. She thinks they're like her children. And then sometimes when you pick her up in certain spots, she doesn't like to be picked up in. And near her leg is one of them. So yeah, Penny's Penny. Let's start with the haul. As always, I like to start my hauls with my favorite item that I found this week at Dollar Tree. This is an item lots of my subscribers were telling me was at Dollar Tree and I went looking for it. I saw people haul it as well, but I was happy that people were telling me this in the comments because they know I love unicorns and mermaids. So I was able to find these little unicorn and mermaid ring holders. Now, it's like little jewelry, a trinket tray. The only thing is the unicorn is kind of a little too big on the tray. You can't really put much off the side of the unicorn. On the top, you could put some rings, a bracelet maybe around it, but yeah, on the actual like tray itself there's not much room on this one the mermaid has a lot more room on the tray itself and because of the way the tail is there's much more room to put rings on top of if that's what you want to put on this these are so cute now i saw them in two colors this copper color and then a silver color so i got both versions that i saw i think these are so nice i definitely think these are worth a dollar i love this so so much like for real now the silver ones i actually don't plan on keeping the silver mermaid silver i want to spray paint it because I'm not like the biggest fan of silver. The unicorn looks okay in the silver but the mermaid not too much. If you like these I recommend going to Dollar Tree soon to see if you can find them because I don't see them lasting very long and I did find them in the front of the registers. They were inside of a box and so it'll be like where their novelty items are like the little journals that they get in and um like the bean bags the little emoji plushies. You know what's sad? This mermaid has bigger tatas than I do. Itty bitty titty committee. I got farmhouse decor galore to show you guys right now. I found these picture frames. They are very nice. They actually have the texture of wood. You know, they look like they're wood. They're not real wood. But unlike the other wooden picture frames Dollar Tree has, there's a texture to them. It's not just like contact paper. Like it feels like little ridges that are inside of wood. So I bought three different kinds. Now the first one is this really pretty blue color. It's like that robin blue. I think they're really pretty. I bought two of them but that's only because I could find two of them. I really wanted more of them but I couldn't find more. And then I got this one that's a lighter wood. I think this one's called like alabaster wood. Don't quote me on it. But it was the lightest one that I saw. I picked up three of these. I wanted four. Only could find three. And then the one that I did find four of is a little bit darker than that what I'm calling alabaster wood. And I was able, like I said, to find four of these. All of these are super nice. Like these are probably the nicest picture frames I've ever seen from Dollar Tree when it comes to that like wooden color. Penny, she's with her ball. Just because the other wooden ones, they either don't look that realistic or they do look realistic enough, but it's like the contact paper. And they just got some really nice ones that had that contact paper um, that I'm talking about. But this actually has the texture of wood. Like feeling it feels almost like wood. I really, really need to get myself into another Dollar Tree so I can go ahead and find one more of these lighter colors. Because I can see these selling out super fast. Last week I hauled these two little like wood plaques would and one says family um, is made of love and laughter the other one says believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable so I went to Dollar Tree these were the only two I saw I went to a different Dollar Tree this week and I was able to find another one I didn't know that there was this one this says home is a gift that lasts forever so I picked this one up I have all three these are very very nice for a dollar when I found this one there's only three left like the shelf was completely empty there was three of these ones left and I bought one of them and so I also went to the Dollar Tree where I bought these two at and they didn't have any more left when I went. Like I said, these are very, very nice for a dollar. Like, I think it's a really pretty piece of home decor. Very nice to put like on a mantle or something. One of the things though that I really do like about these is I think they go nice with a farmhouse decor theme. Well, Dollar Tree did get more items this week that go well with that farmhouse decor type of theme. I was able to find these little plaques right here. This one says, Welcome to Our Home. I bought two of these. I really like the galvanized little plaque right here and then there's a burlap background. I thought these were nice for a dollar and I just love that they are getting farmhouse decor type of items in because for me, I love it. I got another one with that galvanized look and this one says bless this home. Then I bought this one and when I got home I was like dang it. I didn't realize that it was missing 
three of the little nails that keep this in place so it keeps sliding down like this I'm not gonna go return it because I was thinking hey maybe I could take this off and do something right here I don't know I, I'm, I'm not gonna go complain about that this one says family and friends gather here I like this one more but I did purchase this one as well to kind of just balance off the other two if I did, um, decide to decorate with all three near each other I got some farmhouse looking wall art images. I really wanted like ones with animals, but honestly going through the wall art at Dollar Tree is such a pain in the butt because it's all mixed together. Sometimes the boxes are organized enough where you know like this is where the farmhouse stuff is, this is where like their coffee kitchen pictures are, but at the Dollar Tree I went to it's just like all over the place. Like I said, I was hoping to find like farm animals like a chicken, a pig, but I did purchase like a rooster and a pig last week, but those colors don't necessarily remind me of farmhouse colors that were in the picture, so I want something a little bit more toned down. Anyways, I was able to find two images though that I do like, and they say farmer's market. One has a cherry and it says farm to table, fresh produce, open daily, nine to five, and then this one says farmer's market, fresh, pig daily, locally grown, and has an image of a tomato. I don't like the picture frame on this. I feel like it needs to be changed um, just because I don't think it matches the actual image that well. But I picked these up and I really want to use them for DIY. Now the next three images I got, I like a lot. I feel like you could take the frames, like spruce it up a little bit, and it can look like it costs more than just a dollar. I was able to find these two images of coral. And um, yeah, both of them are different, a little bit different. They still look very similar. I really do want to bring back Beach Week this year, which is a week I did last year nonstop of beach decor videos. I want to do that again because I love beach nautical decor. And then I found this seahorse. Now I saw another seahorse that I liked, but it was like a brown seahorse with like a wooden background. That's not really what I want. I like the blues and the whites. So I went ahead and picked up this one because I thought it matched these two better. So like I said, the images are really nice and I feel like you can like spray paint the frames a different color and it'll look better. Now I feel like corporate people that work for Dollar Tree do watch some of these videos sometimes. I don't know if they watch my videos, but I, what I'm saying is they have to notice that people on YouTube are uploading Dollar Tree videos, and I bet you they take notice. So if anybody watches this video from corporate, please get in marble contact paper. The next items I found were these little um, photo frames. There's a clip here, you put a photo there. They had different designs, but I liked the marble ones the most, and I got two of them. But I saw the marble, like, contact paper and I was like Dollar Tree you should really get it in like if you got it in people will I'm sure buy it off your shelves. Marble contact paper is so fun it could make something that is so bland look so much more expensive so I found these I was really excited to see something marble so I got these and I was just excited to see something with marble at Dollar Tree because the only other marble thing that Dollar Tree has is the coffee marble contact paper and I don't really like that contact paper it doesn't really look like marble to me so yeah Dollar Tree. If you're out there, anybody from Dollar Tree Corporate watching this, anybody who decides what you're going to sell, get some marble contact paper in. I'm, I bet you people will buy it up. I will buy it up. This next item is just random as heck, but is in my bag and I just thought I'd share it with you guys. I got this random toy iguana. My boyfriend's sister, um, she's younger and she wanted to prank her brothers. So I took her to Dollar Tree on Easter. I wanted to go to like um, Five Below because I know they have lots of prank things, but the Five Belows near me were closed. So I was like, maybe we could buy this iguana and we could like hook it onto the toilet somehow so it doesn't fall into the toilet and then they would open it and then like get scared. Um, but we forgot to do that. So now I just have this toy iguana. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe we'll use it one day to prank them. But I don't, know, I don't even know if it's going to work. All of her brothers are around my age or older than me. So I don't know how we're going to get away with pranking them with a toy iguana. But it might work. You, you never know. And the final thing I got at Dollar Tree this week were some square mirrors. I haven't seen these inside of a Dollar Tree in forever. I know you can order them offline. But I think you have to order like... I always forget. I think it's like 25 or 40 of them. I don't know how many comes in a box, but I know it's a lot and I just don't really want to buy a gigantic box of the mirrors. But I haven't seen the mirrors in a long time. Finally found them. So I did buy 10 of the mirrors. These things are well worth, worth a dollar. I've told you guys that so many times. You can do so many nice things with these. And like they're really nice if you want to use them for centerpieces um, at a wedding. You put candles on top of them. I just love the way that like a candle will reflect a light 
onto a mirror and it just looks really nice. I don't know. I don't think you guys can see this too much. So that's it for this week's Dollar Tree haul. As always, I like to end my hauls with a question. Last week I wanted to know if you're usually on time or late for events, um, parties, school, whatever it might be. Just things you have to go to. Most of you guys prefer to be on time for things rather than late. So this week's question is going to be a little controversial. Well, not really, but it's just a question where people sometimes get really heated over it. I don't, but I've seen people like, no, it's this, no, it's that. Basically, I want to know if you pronounce it, I'm going to say it the way I pronounce it, caramel as caramel or if you pronounce it as caramel. I know that there are other ways people say it and there is no right or wrong way even though people will fight like no it's this way no it's that way but I want to know how you pronounce it caramel which is how I pronounce it or caramel. Anyways thanks for watching this week's Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys had a wonderful Easter. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye! Yeah, uh, Say that something. I wanna hold your hand. I wanna hold your hand. I wanna hold your hand. Say to me.